Welcome to a Hacks and Bodges special on the weekly Dirt Shed Show. We get sent your Hacks and Bodges all the time to the GMB and Uploader. So now is a great chance to go through some of the best ones where you've used ingenuity or just simple brilliance to make something fantastic and teach us all another way to do it. So let's take a look at what we've got this week. So let's have a look. Who's up first? It is Julian. Julian has made an amazing uh, bike packing mount for his handlebars here. Now, I had a quick look online, okay? I Googled it. And you can spend well over $100 on these adaptions for your bike. But Julian has taken an old set of handlebars that he's cut down and a stem, an old stem, that he's made a slightly smaller depth on the actual clamp that goes around the steerer tube. Um, and then he's used a slightly higher steerer tube to get enough space under his existing stem to put this new secondhand stem that reaches out underneath his bars and he can now mount his bike packing bag on his handlebars. He's basically done it for free out of old parts. It's fantastic. I mean, it's cost him nothing. Even the cheap ones online are like $20, but they'd be nowhere near as strong as this, I don't think. It's a great idea. And really the hack in this is Julian just looking past how these things are normally mounted. They're normally mounted from your handlebars and reaching out, but by going underneath the handlebars with that extra stem, he's made it all possible. It's genius. Well done, Julian. I love it. Um, he's also kept space there on his handlebars. So when he's climbing, and happens a lot on your gravel rides, you know, where you want a long, long climb, you sometimes need to move your hands and maybe go into a more tucked position and just crank away. It's a great solution. It's a perfect hack to start with. Boom. Who have we got up next? It's Salvador. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Now, amazingly, we've seen quite a few wooden bikes on GMBN, okay, but this one's kind of special. Now, Salvador didn't build the bike. Um, he just said one of his friends in the neighborhood couldn't afford a bike, and he's become quite a celebrity in the local area because he really inspired everyone to really try and upcycle things and make what you need, even if you can't afford it. Um, and this is in the Philippines, and. He says his neighbor just couldn't afford to get a bike and he couldn't afford a fully built second hand one. So he got what bits together he could and he made the rest out of blooming wood. I mean, it's incredible, isn't it? I mean, okay, so it's a, it's a hard nose because uh, he hasn't made front suspension, but thankfully for a bike like this, he has built rear suspension, <laughs> amazing. He's built rear suspension out of wood. It's unreal. I mean, I don't know what the parts are. I mean, look at that chain, it's gigantic. But it's a fantastic bike. Um, I've got a feeling it's motorized actually. It might be electric because it looks like an electric hub in the rear. But don't know. Maybe it's just a great big balance bike like Blake's one. It's unbelievable, isn't it? So cool. I mean, hands down, that is one of the best wooden bike builds I've seen. It looks like it's straight out of the Flintstones. It's fantastic. Thanks for sending it in, Salvador. And to whoever you are, bike builder, namaste. Very, very good bit of uh, woodwork there. <laughs> fantastic. Love it. Next up, I mean, hang on a sec. Look at the seat on it. <laughs> Look at the seat on that thing. Insane. It actually looks pretty uncomfortable. Um, and that may be the biggest uh, overworked side stand I've ever seen in my life. Great. We've got to move on to this one from Fabio. Now this is, oh, class. There's a lot about this I like. Now uh, these cases, Pelly cases, um, lots of uh, distributors and um, people like um, videographers actually, you know, who travel around the world, they use these Pelly cases and they're very, very expensive. Now, what's really clever here is Fabio has found an almost exact copy, basically it is a copy of a Peli case online. He spent a lot less money on it. This one was about $60. A Peli case normally costs 
of what, around $200. So he saved a lot of money. Um, the only thing he did buy from Pelly was this little zip bag that goes in the lid of the Pelly case, which he's utilized very well. And then he's bought this foam, cut out the shape for all the tools that he's really considered that he needs and he uses all the time. Now, what he saved on Pelly case, you have definitely spent on tools because there are some seriously good weapons in there. But that's the right thing to do, okay? You know, you want to get the right tools for the job. Um, and there's some lovely ones in there, some really great ones. But he's made so much of this. The foam packing has made it really great, protects the tools, soundproofs it when you're moving it around, sort of jumbling around, rattling. Just looks amazing. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lovely toolbox full of lovely tools. I wouldn't mind it myself. I think you've done a really great job and you've saved some money. So that is an absolutely brilliant result. Congratulations to you. Fantastic. Bit of, well, it's certainly hacking. That's not bodging. Um, but we're moving on next to, this is hacking, but could be a bodge. Okay, so uh, Bjorna over in Sweden has been out on a bike ride and he's realized that um, on this ride where he's uh, quite a long way from home that he's, he's come up against some trees that have, have fallen and blocked the trail for everyone. Okay, so Bjorna actually takes a fold away saw with him when he's riding. So when this happens, he can hack, literally, through the trees and then look, he's cleared the way. The trail's open for everyone. But now, just wait. There's some definite problems to this, okay? Which is why it could be a total bodge, okay? You can't just go soaring through trees everywhere. Um, there are rules and regulations for this kind of thing. Now, I, I, I don't know if it was legal where Bjorn did it, but he has opened up the trail for everyone. And now walkers and riders and alike can use the trail perfectly. That's great. But always check if you're going to do something like this, uh, the rules and regulations where you ride, because there are lots of reasons um, why that might not be something you should do. But great idea to be carrying a tool and having forethought like that, Bjorna, because you never know what's going to happen when you're out on the trail. And if you're riding a long way away from home, like you obviously were, then it's good to be prepared definitely good to be prepared but check first check first okay there we go that is some great hacks and bodges for this month i mean there's some brilliant stuff in there i think my favorite was that pelly toolbox um fabio did it was absolutely awesome i really like that but the the wooden bike also <laughs> is is amazing there's some great stuff in there hey if you've got a hack or a bodge you want to send in to us then please go to GM, gmbn uploader uh, the link is there on the screen. It's in the description down below. You've got no excuse. Show us what you've been doing with your bike, with your garage, uh, or out on the trail. Something that's going to help all the other viewers get something done. I love seeing the little bits of uh, smart ingenuity that are simple. Really like that bike rack mount on the handlebar. That was a simple idea and it all came from just thinking outside the box a little bit. How can I do this differently? Great stuff. Thank you for sending them in. Loved uh, being with you and going through the hacks and bodges this time. Uh, I will see you next month for more hacks and bodges specials. Um, but until that time, I think uh, it's time to uh, say goodbye. And I'll see you next time. Three, two, one. Hacks and... Hacks and... Hacks and... You know, you've got to sing along. It's a, it's a collaboration. If you don't... I'll do bodges, okay? Three, two, one and bodges and bod oh, it was hard to do that way around <laughs> see you next time